Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Welcome to part two of me opening up the 12 days of lunar advent calendar. I already put up a part one where I opened the first six shades on different days. So I'm actually opening it as an advent calendar and then I did a look. So I already did one look with this palette and I only saw the first half. And now we're getting into the second half. And yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. So what we have so far is the palette and the color story so far is very fall-esque with a pretty like champagne tone shimmers with some different shades for the mattes and can't wait to see what the rest is like i i actually have been able to avoid spoilers i have done my absolute best i think i only saw this shade the yellowy one being spoiled but i was so good at scrolling past so fast when anything was posted on this 12 days of lunar advent calendar palette very happy with that so this is gonna be my genuine reaction to what the rest of the palette is like and yeah here we have the advent calendar and i am gonna be opening today shade seven and eight and i'm gonna open it a little bit already with the scissors because it's a bit tricky to open so first up day seven we have once again the little purple box and yeah i'm just very excited to see what else is in this palette this is kind of like a bronze shade but it seems to have some gold and green in there as well almost like a multi shimmer maybe a little bit like a duochrome in there i think this looks really nice and really interesting but once again it's a pretty pretty neutral shimmer which in one way i don't mind because i do love neutrals neutrals are like my favorite right now but i also love things that are a little bit unexpected so yeah i was kind of hoping for maybe a green but maybe we're still getting that i believe there's some there's something like a grayish green in here but i don't feel like we're gonna get really really like crazy colors in the rest of the palette i don't feel like that's gonna happen the shimmer formula in this palette so far looks amazing i this is one of the reasons that i bought this palette because it was the same shimmer formula as a nude prism and i love that shimmer formula it's absolutely amazing so it is kind of like a bronze to olive which i love when i look at it from this way it is olive and you see the bronze and when i look at it like this i see kind of like a bronze i think that is a really cute shade i'm gonna pop it into the palette and i think i'm actually gonna do it like this so that so that the shimmer is below the mat and not the two shimmers below each other at the end i might switch things around a little bit but this is what i like for now and then we are going to move on to day eight so opening up day eight we're getting closer and closer oh you know i think that actually is a little bit more unexpected a little bit more of a su surprise this is kind of like almost a bright mossy green that is interesting that that could be a nice pop in a look. All right, all right. So this is not like my perfect shade of green because I'm more cool tone, like neutral to cool, a mossy green. It's a little bit on the yellow side and a little bit on the muddy side for my like skin tone, but I do like it for this color. Sorry, I do like it for this palette. I feel like the colors, like the differences are really like in the mats and he tried to make it a bit more wearable and just easy for everyone to understand by keeping the shimmers very neutral of course i haven't seen everything yet but so far the mats are very like we, ha we have a lot of different types of mats here you can really go a different route by changing up the mat in the crease or on the lid however you want to do it so let's watch this i actually really like these shades i actually really like these together i think you could kind of combine this green with the bronze green and then use a little bit of the brown in the outer corner to kind of deepen it up i do see a look i do see a look with this i do feel kind of inspired by what we got today 
and I actually really like it. And this is making me more excited to see the rest of the palette, actually. Yeah, I feel like the shimmers are safe, but the quality of them is amazing. And if you haven't seen my first part, like the first video, the look that I did in the end actually really surprised me and I thought was really cool. And I feel like this palette, because the quality is so good, is really gonna work out in the end on the eyes, even though the color story might not be like perfect or exactly what I would choose. So far, I'm not disappointed and I do feel like it's worth it for me. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna open more and I'm very excited about it. So now it is time to open day nine and 10. And I'm very excited. We're getting close to actually finding out. I'm getting close to actually finding out what the complete color story is looking like. Very excited about that. So the ones that we're going to open today are this one and this one. And I got the tip to try opening it with a tweezer. So that is what I'm going to try to do. I got my tweezer over here. But I still think it's going to be a little bit difficult to do it like on camera. So I'm going to open it a little bit off camera and see if that really helps or if I am gonna stick to the scissors. Okay, I think it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of working, but also kind of not completely. So let's open day nine. And I already know what this one looks like because this is the one where the actual shade in the packaging wasn't up to par with the quality that many wanted for this shade. So there is an extra one of this one, I believe. Uh, yeah, I got this. It says, hi loves, please replace day nine shadow with this one instead. So I'm going to open this one that's from the palette and... It is kind of like a muted green, kind of like a gray green with a warm undertone. And I'm kind of curious to see like what the quality is like and if it's really like bad. It does look really good. It does look really nice. I don't know. So this is the one from the palette that isn't supposed to be like up to par. I think it swatches really nicely. So I don't really know what's the issue with this one. I'm gonna open the one that is supposed to be like the good quality and swatch it next to it because i am just very curious so i'm gonna try and not mess these up so i will actually put the good one in the palette i guess the other one i can still give way to someone who wants to try it i don't really see a difference in the packaging in the pan so now i'm gonna sh swatch the one that is up to par when it comes to quality also looks really good also feels really creamy so i don't really know mm. well i get it i get it i feel like looking at it like this that this one is a bit less pigmented and a little bit less shiny but i feel like the difference is not absolutely crazy i feel like this one you could still use it's still usable so i'm gonna see if someone wants to try it maybe my sister because it's a really nice kind of darker green with a little bit of a brown on the tone uh, base and then we have a lighter green shift i think this is a really cool shade this is the first shimmer that is a little bit more colorful but it's not really a surprise because i already saw this but i do like that we have some color in the palette i'm gonna pop it in before i mix the right one and the wrong one up so this is what it looks like now i actually really like the look of these two greens together I think these two together would be a really cool look. Okay, okay, okay. Time for day 10. This one over here. I'm gonna try and do it with the tweezer again. But I just feel like this is a bit of a tough advent calendar to open, actually. Okay, that went a little bit easier. That wasn't too bad, actually. I think that kind of worked. So here we have door number 10 for day number 10. And I have no idea what it is going to be. I'm going to be so happy when I finally unboxed this whole thing and can look at Instagram and videos in peace. Like and not worrying that something is going to be spoiled. I saw, I've seen so many spoilers. Like almost, I almost saw them. I always quickly look away. It's, um, it's I feel I'm dedicated to not find out. 
Okay, so this seems like a mustardy brown. Like, it is brown, but there's some yellowiness, like a yellow undertone. Mm, yeah, it's a nice shade, but nothing unexpected. So this will also go well together with the greens, I think. I'm just gonna swatch it. It's a little bit of a lighter brown than the other one. It's a nice shade. Pretty neutral, of course, but it's a more of a... Like a lighter brown transition shade, but I think you will still be able to like deepen this up. In a way, I had not expected this. I feel like it is different than what I had in mind when I bought this. I felt like maybe there were gonna be some more like grays, some muted purples, but we're gonna see. Tomorrow I'm gonna unbox the last two and do one more look with the bottom row. All right, so it is time for the last two shades. I'm finally finding out what this entire palette looks like. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a look. So if you also saw part one, you'll have seen me use all of the shades, which I think is pretty nice because it gives me a really good idea of this palette quite soon okay so the shades that we still have to open are 11 and 12 i'm gonna try and do this again with the tweezer but it is still a bit tough in my opinion but so far we haven't had any casualties everything worked out in the end so opening 11 and 11 is another shimmer and this is kind of like a rosy shade kind of like a rosy brown with what almost seems to be a golden shift to it i think this looks like a nice shade once again quite a neutral shimmer i feel like he was a little bit more adventurous with the mattes that is what that one looks like feels really really soft it's a beautiful shade though i do think this looks really nice, like very rosy brown with a golden sheen. And the swatch is also really nice. I really like this shade. Even though it's not super adventurous, I do really, really like it. It's like very fitting with the outfit. I had no idea that this shade was going to be in here. So I guess I'm kind of like psychic now. I don't know. I'm going to pop this one in the palette. And this is what it looks like now. We have one more to go and then we'll see the whole entire thing. All right. The last day, the last matte in this palette. Can't wait to see what this is. And the last shade is a black so i don't really use black eyeshadow i get that other people like it i get that people use it for me it's always a bit too harsh i can never make it look quite right on me i'm just someone lighter shades just look a bit better on me so for me this isn't the shade of my dreams this isn't really what i was hoping for but at the same time, I am not someone who wouldn't buy a palette just because there's a black in there. Because I understand it. You sometimes just have to have a black in a palette. And yeah, it's a bit like a bone colored matte. I also don't really use that. But sometimes it's just handy to have in there for some people and their makeup styles. So I won't complain. So that is the black. Um, I don't know if I'm really gonna use it. I don't know if that is really gonna be the thing. But at the same time, I did challenge myself to do a look with the six shades that I have unboxed in this video. So I guess, you know what, I'll just try it. I'll just try it out. It is later at night. I feel like it's a good time to experiment a little bit. So let's do that. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. We're gonna do the look. All right, there we are. I'm gonna put on some eye primer. I usually do this before, but I just want it to be kind of quick. It's starting to film today. Okay, so I'm thinking we have some rosy brown options. We have a black and we have the greens. I, mm, I think I wanna do the rosy black 
a little bit like on the outer part, the outer corner, and then the greens a little bit in the inner corner. I think it's going to be something like that. I'm going to start out with applying this one and this one in the crease, this one more towards the front part and this one more towards the outer part. I feel like I'm a little bit out of focus, but I could also be imagining it. Am I? Am I not? I hope I am. If I'm a little out of focus, I'm really sorry. I don't know what's going on. All right, so I'm first grabbing the brown shade and applying that to the outer part. It's really nice and pigmented. It's a little bit of a like expected shade, but in another way, it's a shade that I would quite quickly grab for that I, in the end, always appreciate in a palette. Okay, now for the next part, I'm gonna grab the green matte and I'm gonna put that over here. This is gonna be quite the adventurous look for me. Do you think that's a cool shade of green? I don't know if I really have something like this. I feel like it is an addition to my collection, but I also do have to say that I wouldn't really buy a palette for this type of green. It's a bit outside of my comfort zone. I think that's a really nice and pigmented green. So far, all the like the quality in this palette is actually amazing. Now I want to grab the black and I'm going to deepen the outer corner just a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to grab the same brush because I, if I take a really like small, slim, precise brush, I feel like it's going to be too harsh for sure. So just dipping in once. And then let's see what happens. It's always gonna look black, right? Or don't you think that it looks a bit harsh? Let me know. Do you think this looks good or not? I feel like this is looking kind of good. Like, but I still, I have to match it up with the other side. It's a little bit harsher, but this, this could work for me, I think. All right, I do like the blendability of this black. Um, I'm not the expert. I'm not a black eyeshadow expert, but I do like the way this works. I feel it's pretty easy to maneuver and to get it where I want it. Um, I'm going to take a clean-ish brush and blend the edges of the black. And just, I guess, the black all over because I just want it to be a bit more soft. Now we only have the brown a little bit like at the edge of everything. There is something kind of interesting about this look i kind of like it i do think it's too harsh on me but I, there's something about it that i kind of like so for the outer part of the lid i'm gonna put this one on there and i just applied with my finger that's a really really nice shimmer really cool very nice and kind of bronzy so kind of like cool and warm at the same time and now for the inner part of the lid, I'm going to put the green there. Once again, I'm taking my finger, taking a little bit of that green. Okay, that's really nice, actually. A really nice shimmer. I feel like this is quite a bit of... It makes me think a bit of, an, of a Halloween look. I know we're way past it, but makes me think of it a little bit. All right, for the lower lash line, I'm once again going to combine the brown and the black. Um, to smoke that out a little bit and then I want to try this shade on the lower lash line as well Just seeing how the shadows stick on the lower lash line I feel like that's also always a bit of a test because some shadows they look really bad on the lower lash line And even if they look quite good on the top So I always think it's a nice test Then I'm taking a little bit of the black No, I really don't hate this black together with that brown i feel like the combo is quite nice I'm gonna take a small brush and just the tiniest bit of black tapping it and just kind of want to connect everything here i don't know if i'm gonna succeed but i'm gonna try and over here gonna clean it up in a in a bit so it's gonna still look a little bit better now i'm gonna take a pencil brush and i'm gonna take that rosy shade over here and just adding a bit of that to the lower lash line I feel like that makes it 
just a little bit more soft. I'm also going to take a little bit of the green shimmer and I'm going to put that in the middle. I like that. That green shimmer is really nice. And now I'm going to cheat just a little bit because there's no inner corner highlight in the last six shades. I am just going to grab this one over here and I'm going to put that... In the inner corner. I do you feel like it has a little bit of green to it? But it's a bit hard to tell. Okay, I'm gonna clean up under my eyes. I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be right back with my thoughts. My first impression, second impression thoughts on this 12 Days of Lunar Advent Calendar. Okay, so this is the finished look. And I actually really, really love how this eyeshadow came out. I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. And I take back what I said about the Halloween look. I think this looks amazing. Just the green with the kind of cool tone brown that cut created on the outer edges with the combination of the light brown with the black. I really love the way the shimmers look. I love how everything blended, the whole look, the whole vibe. I am here for it. I think this looks amazing once again i was a bit unsure about the shades looking at them in the palette but it all came together so beautifully on my eyes and i feel like the way i did this challenging myself to take one row and do a whole look with that really made me discover some things that i don't think i would have done otherwise i feel like i kind of challenged myself with these looks and i'm really really happy with the results if you haven't seen the first look i did it with the top row i think that is also one worth checking out i really love the way that look came out that one was a little bit more like bright and fun and a little bit more contrasty and this one is a little bit more smoky with the pop of green all in all i think this is a really beautiful palette and we have quite a bunch of options here and i feel like everything works so well together it just blends together so well the quality qua the quality is amazing it is just when i look at it i'm a little bit like what do i do with it i'm a little bit unsure when i look at it but then when i actually apply it i'm like really into it and i really like what i do and I feel like with the green shimmer and these two shimmers, you can get a little bit more colorful. These two especially, they get a little bit more colorful. I think if you apply this one on top of the purple a little bit, it's going to be a little bit more bright. It's going to be a little bit more purple. So what I think in the end of this palette, I'm actually really excited about it. And I actually like that it challenges me a bit and makes me try some shades that I wouldn't have otherwise. Especially these greens and this mustard. It's a little bit different for me. Yeah, I have said that it's a little bit safe and I feel like it is a little bit safe. But I get the choice because you also don't want to make like an all blue palette. And then maybe someone buys the palette without seeing it, of course. And they are like, uh, I never wear blue. So this is a little bit for everyone. I get why he chose these colors. And everything together, I do feel inspired. I do feel inspired by the colors that we have here. And you can go a little bit more colorful if you want. I think it's an interesting palette. I personally maybe would have made this gold something else. Like a little bit more of an interesting shimmer. A little bit more bright. Maybe like a burnt orange. like But like really actually bright orange. I think that could have been really cool. Just something a little bit different that just makes it a little bit easier to really go that colorful route but all in all i really don't regret buying this i thought this was a really fun experience unboxing it and i do like the color story in the end i feel like everything came together and it just looks amazing on the eyes and i think that is the really important part in the end and i can't wait to try this out more use this more because i just love how my eyes look and i don't think i would have done this kind of look without many putting these shades together in this palette so in the end i'm really excited about it while i was opening it at some point i was a bit like hmm is this gonna get interesting but i think it did in the end i'm really happy with the look and with the palette so that's gonna be everything for this video thanks so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think of this color story and then i will see you in my next one bye bye <laughs>